Young boxers from Fayetteville are getting ready to compete on the national stage. Yeah, they are heading to the Junior Olympics in Wichita, Kansas. CBS 17's Maggie Newland talked to them about the competition and the lessons boxing teaches them in and out of the ring. Let's go, let's go. One, two, three. <laughs> At Fontenot Boxing Academy in Fayetteville, Boxers love pushing themselves to the limit. No pain! No pain! The coaches are great. The team members are great. Uh, it's fun. Sometimes you just, even when you're tired, all you need to do is keep pushing. Go short. Walk, walk. That persistence got 10-year-old Legend Burgos and 15-year-old Unity Morrison all the way to the Junior Olympics. There you go, guys. Work out. Coach Edward Fontenot is taking several boxers to the competition in Kansas. Some of them never had the opportunity to travel outside of Fayetteville. Team leaders Deborah Grant and Devin Cherby are both military veterans with national boxing experience. I try to give a little advice to the kids and the adults on, you know, a little of what I did to succeed, hoping, you know, they could follow suit. It's kind of like the military, you only lead by doing. So they, they, as long as they see you doing the right thing every day, that's it. Drill. And the kids are learning more than boxing techniques. Listening skills are one of the biggest things, so you can apply that to daily life activities, such as working and going to school. Discipline at school, just being to cooperate. You're going to have to face your fears. It's going to help you with critical thinking skills. Flash hands, move the head. Which is even more important than trophies. How does it feel to win? Great, yeah. But you learn, th you learn things from losing and winning. What do you learn yeah. from losing? Just how, to, how you could do better next time. One, two, one, two, three, two, three, two. Life lessons that go beyond the boxing ring. They leave for the Junior Olympics next week. They plan to come back to this gym champions. In Fayetteville, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.